Hopefully you guys are seeing this on Friday. My plan is to have this go up on Friday. Um, this video is a very different than what I was planning on putting up because originally this filming started a few days before um, Ivan and I was just doing my basic cleaning and then I decided, you know what, with the hurricane coming, let's work on the sunroom. Like we're all stuck inside, it's the perfect time. So that was the beginning of this video, and the end of this video is going to kind of show you some of the crazy of our very first hurricane. So you guys are going to get some cleaning, some decorating, some hurricane stuff, a little bit of everything, but let's get into today's video. So it actually worked out really, really well that I was clearing out this room um, and like picking up everything on the floor. Originally, it was just so that I could get around, paint. Um, I really wanted to clean these floors. On video, you don't see how dirty these floors are. But since this is where the dogs come in after going outside, these floors are always really, really bad. Um, but you're going to see we got a good amount of flooding so me cleaning these floors up was like an extra good thing once the hurricane came. All right, now for mopping your floors, this is what I always, always recommend. I like, now this doesn't have to be Pine Sol, but Pine Sol, Lysol, Fabuloso, something like that, mainly just because of the fragrance for me. And then I add a little bit of Tide and then really, really hot water. Um, sometimes I'll do this right from the sink. Sometimes I will boil a whole bowl of water on the stove to get it really really hot um, but this always works the best for getting my floors really really clean so highly recommend if you're trying to figure out something is do like I said something for fragrance the pine salt but add the powdered tide to it so whatever you typically use add the powdered tide and make sure that water is hot, like super, super, super hot. Um, it makes it where even if there's a really tough spot, you may go over it and come back just a couple seconds later, minutes later, and go over it again. And because that um, different soap solution has sat on it, plus the really hot water, it comes up super, super easy. Um, oh, I wish you could tell how, how dirty these floors are. It's just so hard with the colors and with it being so white that my uh, camera always wants to blow it out so it never looks as dirty on camera as it does in person. But these floors, next time they get this dirty, I'm going to really, really try and get like super close-ups. Um, but often I don't even tell that I didn't pick it up until I'm editing. So, But I'm going to try next time because this is like 
kind of bumming me out that you don't see how dirty it is. So I am going in first and repainting this brick exterior red. We want to do that same like German schmear. Bobby wants to do it to the entire house. I'm still a little nervous about it. So I said I would do it in the sunroom because the sunroom used to be exterior of the house. So this is like the perfect area to practice on without doing the entire house right away. Um, and seeing how easy it'll be. But the first thing I had to do is paint the brick red again because they had done it white, um, which is fine, not a big deal. But if I'm going to do the German schmear, I want that red or um, natural brick color to pop through. And yes, I could strip all the paint off the brick, but that would be way too tedious when I can just go over it with paint. So I didn't mention what I was doing right away in the beginning of this video. So I was actually um, fabric stripping the dog bed. Um, if you've never heard of that, it's just taking about fourth a cup of baking soda, fourth a cup of tie powder tide, and a fourth a cup of borax, and letting um, your fabrics, dog beds, pillows soak in this mixture. It works so so well. Um, so I let that sit just for the day it was about eight hours and then I just throw it in the washing machine and let it run some people add soap to the washing machine when they do this cycle I don't I just run it through a cycle there's so much stuff that's built up in the bed but this is a game changer for your dog beds all right so we are outside in our back area during the hurricane or hurricane Ian that's it right you can just see how the water's flowing we got we got pool, pool flooding over there. Look at our uh, bird cage is wrecked. We got multiple screens blown out. This one's shredded. Uh, the dogs are what used to be our yard. Now that's just like a swimming pool over there. Bailey didn't want to go outside to go potty. Our pool is nice. full. Yeah, actually still warm though. But yeah, this room's a little flooded. So we know there's some weak spots in there. Yeah, the dogs over there. Uh, our plastic bin floats, apparently. So that's cool. Bailey had to go outside, and then when he saw the water, he's like, I don't want to go outside. <laughs> but um, as far as I can tell, our shed, our shed's still there. Our trampoline is tied down. You see there's a little piece of it right there. I don't know what it looks like if it's all shredded. But yeah, you can just see, it's just crazy here. Our neighbors across the street lost a massive tree. I'm glad I trimmed all ours up and cut down some dead stuff in the neighbor's yard, help them out. Uh, yeah, oh, this water is cold. Pool water is warm, but this water is cold. Hey, there's a, there's a giant spider. It's one of those wolf spiders. I think all the little creatures are trying to get out of here alive. But you can see this is going to be a pain to clean. There's another wolf spider right there. How about you go get some shoes on and kill these guys? Yes, please. Quickly, shoes. Just go through the door. Yeah, don't let it in the house though. All right, now I gotta let these doggies in. I'll give you a picture of how this looks for real. Oh, wait now, look at Bailey's. Oh, look at him. He's a wet dog. 
<laughs> you a wet boy. You a wet boy, aren't you? You really wanted to go outside and go potty, didn't you? He's like, I don't want to go outside anymore. I don't want to go outside anymore. Hey, you wet boy. Go. Get in. Look at this. This is insane. This is our first hurricane. Yeah, there you go. Give you an idea how this is in our sunroom. It's deeper out here because our sunroom goes up a little bit. Okay, we'll go out a little bit more. Oh, there, there's our trampoline. See? It's right there. Holy cow. Look at all these trees. Oh, man. Look at my palm tree. It's all messed up. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, crazy. Look how much my stuff is shredded up there. Oh, golly. It's going to be a mess to clean up. I did tie our trampoline down. I think that's the only reason it's still here. Oh man, oh, I'm coming back in. Singing songs were too loud because we wanna. Picking up our love friends, we love to cut your lip best because we wanna. We wanna. Yeah, we just wanna have fun. The trunk's full of wine. We're gonna stay up, have the time of our lives. The night is in. footage from uh, yesterday, was that yesterday or the day before? I don't remember, when I painted this wall and I'm planning to German schmear it like the wall um, in the front entry, but then the hurricane hit. Um, most of our house is fine. The pool area, screened area is wrecked, but it wasn't in good shape beforehand. So this just emphasized us needing to get that handled um, and the dog's room flooded. So most of the water has receded already. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen how much water was in here. Um, so I want to get this cleaned up. That way we can run a dehumidifier in here and start drying it out and then assess any damages. Um, and we're probably going to have to rip all the baseboards out. Um, and I want to seal this off better. Because obviously it was not sealed well. And Ivan made that very obvious. Our backyard is still... Uh, there's a lot. A lot, a lot of standing water out there. But I'm going to work on in here. <clears throat> try and get this all cleaned up. Because this is just all the stuff that has come in because we also still had to let dogs outside to go to the bathroom um so every time we opened that door more water would come in along with grass and debris and everything <laughs> well there was no denying at this part, how dirty the floors were. Um, the biggest issue here is it, this was a little bit later in the day, probably three-ish in the afternoon, uh, maybe four, and the weather had finally started winding down a little bit, enough that the water was starting to recede, um, get out of this room and everything. But the dog still had to be left out put outside multiple times so every time we open the door to let the dogs outside 
just a rush of water would come in with all this debris and everything. At one point, this good, like, half dollar size spider was on Bailey's back leg hitchhiking away into the house. So I had to get that off of him and out. Um, so this uh, vacuum mop worked really, really well to, one, pull up the water that was on the floor still, um, but also just pick up all the debris at the same time. The only issue I had is in this corner over here. You're going to see that this was still pretty deep. Um, so I put towels down, uh, tried using the vacuum, and honestly ended up just needing to let the water get away from the house even more before I could get it all up because it wasn't really working. But at least I was able to get the main area of this room cleaned up so that we could bring in the dehumidifier and you know we weren't sure why we would use a dehumidifier in this new house very glad we kept ours because it came in handy on this day So yeah, this is the area that there's still a good amount of water. Like I said, this vacuum, it definitely sucked up the water. Like I kept having to go and empty it. Um, there was just still too much. And I think part of it was there was still too much water next to the house outside, which is why it wasn't coming clean. So I ended up just letting that sit and empty out more before finishing out that corner. That works. Stop! <laughs> when you're filming near a pool, don't laugh at me. Watch behind yourself. Whoops. Now I need to change. I'm a little wet. All right, dry again. This video is a lot shorter than, um, what I normally do, um, but that's because <laughs> it's not what I was planning on doing for this video at all. So stay tuned um, for next week. There'll be a lot more. Hopefully we can finish that room. There's going to be a lot more going into it than I expected. We were planning on pulling out some of the baseboards, but now we're going to be pulling out all of them, inspecting, and hopefully I can get that room all done up. Um, but yeah. Our first hurricane was definitely interesting. Um, biggest thing was the water. It was such a slow moving storm that we got a lot still of glad, rain. Still happy we moved to Florida. Still happy we moved to Florida. Would still take this over a blizzard. Gotta say. This over snow, this will be gone in a couple of days once the water recedes. Once it stops raining, the water is going to go away. Yeah, once it stops raining. It is still raining. It is, what time is it? Like 4.35 4 o'clock on Thursday. So. 
dehumidifier is going in that room. There's not much more we can do until the dehumidifier keeps going, and there's nothing we can really do outside till it stops raining. So, but I figured I'd throw this up because I know I've been getting tons of messages on Instagram. I've been trying to keep you guys updated in posts here on YouTube, um, but sometimes it's just easier to jump on here. The kids, I have to say though, have been enjoying their days off of school and the dogs have done really well. They don't really get bothered in storms, so. However, it was really funny watching them trying to go to the bathroom this morning in our flooded backyard. I should have gotten footage of that because they were not very happy. But I'll see you guys next week. Bye.